You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is the case of Taylor and Johnson versus Barber. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Taylor and Ms. Johnson, you both claim that you were pregnant at the same time with yes. the defendant, Mr. Barber's children. Yes. yes, Your Honor. You argue that he has not been a father to your kids and refuses to support them, but takes care of his other child. Yes, yes Your Honor. Honor. In your joint statement, you say that despite having issues with one another in the past, you are here today united mm -hmm. to confront Mr. Barber. Yes. Ms. Taylor, you are suing Mr. Barber for $3,608 in child care expenses. Yes, Your Honor, that And Ms. Johnson, you are also asking the court to award you $3,880 in child care expenses. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Barber. Yes, ma'am. You counter that the only reason you can't support the children you have with Ms. Taylor and Ms. Johnson is because they ask for too much money. Yes, ma'am. And they create too much drama. Yes, ma'am. So, that's quite a defense. Now, Ms. Taylor. Yes, Your Honor. Why do you believe he supports his other child and not yours? I believe that he okay. supports his other child because he's still sleeping with his other child's mother. No, we're not. He had three women pregnant at the same time. He is a dog. He doesn't do anything for my child. That's I not have true, to Your take Honor. care of my child that by myself. True, Your Honor. Excuse me, I'm that talking. Is not true, Your Honor. I am talking. You do not that interrupt not true, me when I'm talking. Okay, Shut your mouth. Let's right settle now down and uh, let me talk. Miss Taylor, wait. I'll handle Mr. Barber. You just talk to me. Now, finish your story. I've been having to take care of my child on my own for the last five years. He does not do anything for her. He only wants to deal with women that he can control. He's crazy. He's lost his mind. He only deals with a woman that's going to take his crap because he's sleeping with them. Exactly. He won't take mine. He says, I'm too difficult. I don't feel I'm difficult. She's not difficult. And she I should not have to sleep with my child's father <laughs> just What's for the him problem? to take care of the problem. Like, take sleep. care of your kids. Women have with to do with them taking, taking care of my children. What does sleeping with anybody have to do with taking care of kids? It has nothing to do with my child. It does, because it shows how you feel. Let's get some order. Let's get some order. What we aren't going to do is talk at the same time. Mr. Barber? Is somebody calling you? <laughs> Jerome, answer it and see if it's a woman. <laughs> you already know who it is? They probably never call back again if they find out she's in fraternity oh, no, court. No, that's not exactly. Cut <laughs> it off? Uh, probably was. I wouldn't be shocked. So, um, Mr. Barber, you wholeheartedly admit that you are the father of, of all the children. Yes, ma'am. So if I saw the birth certificates... I have signed every single one of them. Ms. Johnson? Yeah, he's on mine. Is he on yours? He's on mine. Ms. He Taylor? On yours? Oh, mine. okay. Yeah, cut the umbilical cord and everything. What? Yeah. Did he cut the umbilical cord for you? Oh, how about you, Cash? Oh, you done started oh, okay. something now. For real? Oh, You cut my umbilical cord? You know that I was there. Now you, you know seem that, like you're getting yeah, emotional. That hurt your feelings? There's no... You know what? Like... I had, I had my daughter by myself. My mother's deceased. My family could not get there. He was not there. I called him and told him that I was being induced. He came, he stayed for 24 hours. You know when you get induced, you never know when the baby's gonna come. I he do. stayed for the first 24 hours and he left. I called him and I said, I'm 10 centimeters, I'm getting ready to push. He didn't come. He didn't wow. come. I had her by myself. I was there. I pushed that baby out by myself. But I didn't show up. I wasn't there. You did I didn't not show up. come. I didn't show up. Hours I didn't later. show up. But why? You did why? not come until why? Hours what did I tell later? you I was doing? What did I tell you I was doing? What were you doing? What was I, I doing? Know. I was at work. I I can tell this is an emotional subject. And Ms. Taylor, I can see from your face you didn't see it coming once Ms. Johnson said he cut the umbilical cord on her child. He cut the umbilical cord, but even when I was in labor in the, in the delivery room, he was on the phone with her and other women in front of my family. Mom, I wasn't stupid. with you when we had my child. Uh, I was not with you. Uh, no. 
Yes, I was there with my child. I couldn't deal with the court. Yes, I admit that I was not a good parent. We wasn't sitting there talking with me. I admit that. I'm not saying that I was a perfect person. I'm not saying that. Mr. Barber, I'm not saying that. 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 I'm not saying I never I doubted the paternity. I know you're upset. At all. But I need you to calm down. Bring it down a couple notches. I know you're upset. My past was not perfect. What I'm saying is, yes, I've done some things, and I'm not perfect. No. That, that, I'm, I'm far very short of that. But these women know that I love my children, and they know that. You don't for show short, it. How don't I you show don't it? I just took my baby out two weeks ago. Yeah, because for you. you. What are you talking about? You no, you know it had nothing to do with that. Get some order. Wow, you two. I'm hurt. But I also see how frustrated Mr. Barber is. Now, I see a man who's admitting pretty much I blew it. You got two of your children's mothers standing at the same podium. Something went wrong. Exactly. But when you two go to speak, I took a moment to just observe you. I mean, you go to not level 10, level 20 in a matter of two seconds, and there's no understanding, no communication, no compromise, no resolution when you all are going at each other like that. And all I'm sitting and thinking is, I am an adult, a judge of this court, used to watching people in dispute, and you all make me uncomfortable watching you yell and scream. I can only imagine what a child would feel like. Because the truth is, we need to come up with a resolution for you all. Because I can't have any children growing up here in that nonsense every day. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. These women stand before the court today and say that you haven't stepped up to the plate financially. At that time, Your Honor, no, I, I was not. And why was that? Because at Explain that time, that I was going me. through a, a lot myself. I was still a kid. We were having kids. I was, I, I've been in group homes since I was 12 years old. All I know how to do is take care of myself. So when my kids came, no, I didn't know how to do that for the best, for the better part of my children. And I was doing music. I've been doing music since I was 12 years old. So I continued to do music. I went to school. I got a degree so I could be able to take care of my children right now. One thing my father always told me is if you can't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of children? And I have three. I don't have one. So I have three. And I had, two at, I had two at one time, being 18 years old, on the street, by myself. I, I signed the birth certificates. I never asked none of these women for paternity tests. I don't love my children. I don't want to be there for my children. No, that's not true. Because you said your father always told you. Repeat that. My father always told me, if you can't do anything for yourself, how can you do anything for anybody else? And then I would add to that, if you aren't in position to take care of yourself, why put yourself in the position when you're making children <laughs> that you'll have to take care of? My whole life has changed. I mean, Tell me. I'm, I'm an engineer, so I actually can make money. I travel. I, I do things to actually provide for my children. I can provide for the children. I can take them where they clothes and shoes and things of that. Wait, of wait, that wait, wait, time. please, please. No. Like, that's just not even moment. true, because I just took you my son out. Mr. Barber, like, 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 Mr. Barber, like, Mr. Barber, like, Mr. Barber, look at me. Have you sent Miss Taylor or Miss Johnson any money Recently? consistently? Consistently, no, ma'am. Miss Taylor, I need to hear your side. Mr. Barber, give her a chance. We have listened to your side. Miss Taylor, yes, has he Anna. sent anything? to help you with your child. He bought my daughter two packs of diapers. Okay. And how old is your daughter? My never daughter is pack. five years old. I never got two packs. I never got a pack. And Ms. Johnson, you saying you never got... He never bought my son no diapers. I may do whatever I had to do to get my son diapers. He bought my son three pairs of shoes and three outfits. That is so sad. You two were pregnant. Did you or did you not know anything about the other? I didn't know about her. Know Later kidding. on in the pregnancy, we did find out about mm -hmm. each other. I found out about her on accident. I didn't know about her. Um, she didn't know about me. He told us things about each other after we found out about each other, like to put us against each other. But I didn't he know about us her. To fight. I didn't like, know who she was. He wanted to basically up his ego. Oh, I got two girls pregnant. He had and fighting three over girls me. pregnant. 
You say he had three. He had me, he had another female, and he had her. So you're telling me he had three women pregnant at yes. the same time? Yes. yes, Your Honor. At the very young, tender age of 18. And we were all 18. All the way out. Wow. Let's hear from Ms. Cooper. Ms. Cooper, please stand. Thank you for joining us. What do you have to add? Do you feel like he treats your child differently? Um, no, I don't. I feel like he loves all his kids the same. I just feel like um, me and him have came to a common ground to co-parent. Our relationship and what we've been through, none of that matters. Is he good to your child? Yes, he is. Very well. Loves her. Loves her. She's a daddy's and girl. She only wants to be same. with him. We can't say all that. So you think that he is capable of being mm -hmm. a good father to their children? Of course. And but... in your estimation, since you know him, what do you think has been stopping him? Because he acknowledges paternity. He admitted to this court. I might not have been right about everything in the past. I, I got a lot wrong, but I owned up to my kids. I honestly feel like that it's not about the kids for them. It's more about they're bitter because <laughs> things didn't work out for them how they planned. And I kind of feel like they had the kids out of spite. That I feel oh, like for real? Whoa, out I of feel spite. like I feel like they're still in love with James. Um, I've actually, you know, it was one Christmas where he asked me because he didn't want to directly, you know, talk to Monique and um, you know, ask her and see what the kids, what my son wants for Christmas. You know, I'll ask her, and she said no. Tell him he don't have to give me anything. We're good. We're fine. You're dead so to you my daughter. So you see firsthand no them refuse wow. Christmas presents and no. yes, and even Carol has said that you're dead to my daughter. You're not her dad. You're dead to her. I never like who that. wants to really deal with all that? She I don't does have time for that. Know him. I don't. I never she does said not that. Know the conversation him. she's even talking about. She hit me up on Facebook asking me, oh, Jay Bars want to know what to get my daughter, uh, your son for Christmas. I took it as, okay, he don't have no problem talking to me before. Why does he have to have you direct me? Because I didn't make okay, a Okay, but even you. if that was matter. the case, I think it's been established that you don't all get have all. trouble communicating. Exactly. So he if yes, a third party, he you know, is cool. his one of his children's mother reaches out to you, even though no. it may feel a little funny, wouldn't you just give her some suggestions? It's I'm not, sorry. He is not so, a mediator. He, he, no, no, needs, no, no, no. To, he needs to approach Ms. us. Ms. Taylor, no one said she was a mediator. The point is, she is your child's half-sibling's mother. What does that have Meaning, to do with Meaning, if you got a message just asking what your child may want for Christmas, is it more important to press the point to require Mr. Barber to talk to you? Or is it no. more important to make sure on that Christmas morning when the boxes are laid out, Thank there's you. one from daddy? Okay. So there was a year when she did send me a message on Facebook asking what size does Ariel wear, what size shoe does she wear, what are her requests for Christmas? Mm -hmm. So I responded. Do you think she got anything? No, she did not. Miss Taylor, you have a list of expenses, am yes, I correct? I do, Your Honor. And receipts that you've prepared for yes, the court I do, Your Honor. to enumerate what you've spent and do yes. you have that with you? Yes. This is a ledger and also receipts for child care expenses. Now, these expenses that you have presented, they accurately depict what it takes to raise a child. Now, mm -hmm. Mr. Barber, do you have anything to add before I make my ruling? No, ma'am. You know, it is this court's opinion that Ms. Taylor is, in fact, entitled to $3,608 in back child care expenses. <laughs> Moving on, Ms. Johnson, Ms. did Johnson. you also bring Receipts. Yes. I bring receipts. And information for and the court regarding your claim. Yes, and I also have a text message between me and Mr. Barber where he stood my son up on his fifth birthday. So All right. don't Jerome, give a gift, can you please did not. hand me Ms. Johnson's information? So I see Mr. Barber asking. If he's having a birthday party, he says he's there. 
Never you saw. tell him exactly where it is, and you also suggest a gift that he would enjoy, a gift right. card, we so he can get on what that. he wants. He didn't want to give him a tablet. He loves Ninja Turtles. Yeah. And then, Mr. Barber, you consent, all right. And you say the party starts at 2.30. And then I see you follow up. Hey, are you coming today? And you ask, what time are you starting, Mr. Barber? 2.33. So are you coming, you ask. And then you tell her that you're working. You have a session. We know you're an engineer. And then you say, you told him about the party in advance, and plain and simple, are you coming or not so I can tell him? And you said, I told you what I'm doing, meaning I'm working. And then your text begins that you are disappointed because you'd already told your son that his dad would be at his party. And that's something that happens all the time. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. You have provided countless receipts. This is for his uniform. School uniform. For school, diapers. Very well, animated. these expenses are all reasonable and legitimate. And Mr. Barber, seeing as though you have acknowledged this child, signed his birth certificate, you have a responsibility to share in those expenses. And for that reason, I am awarding Ms. Johnson the $3,880 she's requesting for this court. Judgment for Ms. Johnson. Cass, please. You know, you've gotten beat down a lot in this courtroom today because you haven't been there. But I did hear between the lines a level of truth that I want to explain to you that I understand because I want you to do better. When you got these women pregnant, you didn't know who you were. But now you said you found yourself. You know what you're passionate about. You've gone to school. You've learned to be an engineer. And, and when you have a client... You don't want to let the client down, but most importantly, you have to remember, you don't want to let your child down. Do you understand? <laughs> you have to now step up to the plate and be that father that you want to be. You say you want to be. Fathers, parents make sacrifices. Mm -hmm. They yes. get it done without Sacrifice. excuse. And their children have to know they're their number one priority. Are That's we clear? Thank you. Court is adjourned. Good luck to all of you. I really hope that I can co-parent with him. That will definitely be the goal. I just really hope that he looks at this as a wake-up call and he comes to his senses and be a man and be a father and be in his children's lives. We got, you know, a little shopping coming up. They know, right? Shopping spree. Closed captioning provided by...